I went to the dermatologist just because I had some skin irritation and they said, oh, did you ever do a full body scan? Your light, fair skin? No. Do I need it? Sure. So she did it and a little while later I got a phone call from the doctor that shocked me saying that I had melanoma, something I really didn't know anything about at the time. I've had the triple whammy because I started with melanoma and then after that I was diagnosed with squamous cell and basal cell and I've had a few of each over the years. When I was diagnosed with my melanoma, I went to a surgical oncologist out of NYU and my dermatologist suggested that I need body photography, which was frightening to me. Soon thereafter, she told me about a company called MoleSafe, and she said, it's something you should check out. Um, maybe this would be a better process for you and something that would be something you could do every year. It's just a double check to make sure that everything's going to be okay. Molsey found something that the dermatologist did not find. It was because of their finding it that I had the surgery and I was able to uh, move on from that. Molsey has a great process, so they're really looking at individual moles. It's very, it's, it's, they make you feel so comfortable. It's not an issue that I feel, I, I, I enjoy it, I look forward to it. I schedule it in like it's an outing, so to speak. I would highly recommend to anyone, regardless of their skin tone or ethnic background, to set up a system where they go to MoleSafe on an annual basis. MoleSafe is just another good way to prevent anything else from happening, um, you know, before it's too late. My skin type is considered fair. Um, I burned easily when I was younger. I do not have an exorbitant amount of moles. I've got more along the lines of the normal amount. I just had this one big one that just the sun changed it. And if it wasn't for this friend of mine who kept saying, you know, that doesn't look right, that doesn't look right, if she could see it, I probably wouldn't be here today. The sell point for me was to avoid unnecessary biopsies. I'd already had a few more excisions on my back. They were all negative, but I walked away with a few stitches that had to be taken care of and go back and taken out. And who wants, who wants surgery if you don't need it? I would wholeheartedly recommend that everybody go see MoleSafe and get a baseline picture of their body without any doubt. They go over your entire body with a fine tooth and comb, and then they send all the reports off to the dermatologist at NYU, which I'd already had a relationship with because that's where my excision was done, the doctor was from NYU, so I was comfortable with that too. And they read it, and if they see anything that they think warrants going further with the biopsy, then you do the biopsy. I've done the most damage to my body uh, when I was a teenager. I remember laying out in my front yard, laying on the roof, going to tanning salons, going to the pool, going on vacations, going to the beach, trying to get tan all along. It was never successful. The only thing I got out of sunbathing was skin cancer when I was 26 years old. I do recall one time I went to a tanning salon and I paid for the most affordable bed, which probably had the cheapest lights. and. I left there and I had such a burn that I missed three days of school. I remember soaking myself in a bath. I couldn't put on any clothes. I was burned so badly. My chest looks like I have a permanent burn on it. And every time I put a bathing suit on, people tell me, ooh, you better put sunblock on, you're burned. And I say, no, that was from when I was 18 years old. It just never changed. When I was in my mid-20s, I thought, I'm in my mid-20s now. I better go to a dermatologist, being that I come from a history of skin cancer. And when I went in, she took one look at my chest and said, that doesn't look good. So she removed the spot from my chest and she also removed another spot from right here. And I left thinking, it couldn't happen to me, it's not going to happen to me. But I was a little shaken up that she even had to remove something from my body. And um, I got a call one week later and she said, honey, you have melanoma. I've learned now the importance of knowing your body knowing what spots you've had, knowing what spots are new, even watching the shapes of spots because they change over time and that change may not be good. And in my case, it meant that I had melanoma. I didn't think that it could happen to me and no one thinks it's going to happen to them. But the truth is, it can happen to you and it will happen to you if you don't wear sunblock, if you don't get checked if you don't protect your skin. I still have a scar to this day because of my melanoma. It's a reminder for me that I have to take more care of my body. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I shouldn't have gone to the tanning salon, but it's 10 years later. I shouldn't have 
not put sunblock on, but it's 10 years later. And all of the spots that are showing up on my body now are from 10 years ago. So I can take as good of care as I want to on my skin now, but the damage is done. I would recommend anyone to have an early detection because it can't hurt you. Molesafe can save your life. The spot where I got melanoma was on my shoulder, which is normally covered by a shirt. So um, I think not only do you need to wear sunscreen a lot, but you know you really need to be aware of uh, even when you're outside and uh, you're wearing a shirt, if it's a white t-shirt, the sun's going to go right through it pretty quickly. I spend a lot of time with my family doing the things they like. Uh, certainly when you're out watching your kids' soccer games, that's another opportunity to make sure that you're um, covered up or wearing sunscreen. I started visiting a dermatologist uh, when I was in my mid-twenties. He had a whole book of somewhat embarrassing photos of virtually every part of my body uh, where he would hold them up and compare them to the moles and it seemed pretty old-fashioned. My experience going to MoleSafe the first time was uh, a really good one and that's why I've been going back uh, again and again. I was very pleased with the service, the, the interaction I had with the nurse who did the photography. Overall, I would call it a comfortable experience. I didn't feel it's invasive. I didn't feel it was embarrassing. And um, uh, that's why one reason I keep going back. I would recommend MoleSafe to others because it has helped me feel more confident in my detection of any possible skin cancers or, or melanoma or anything that could really be a threat to my long-term health. In terms of the cost of MoleSafe, I would say for me the cost is definitely worth the peace of mind. If I think about the fact that if I hadn't detected the melanoma that I had, I might not be here today. You can't really put a price on protecting yourself and keeping yourself healthy and alive for your family. My father passed away from melanoma in 2006. Um, it was heartbreaking for us. He was diagnosed at the end of 2005 and um, passed away in January of 2006. It was very quick. By the time it was discovered, it was really um, too late. I have known even before my dad passing away and developing a melanoma that I'm very high risk for skin cancer. I have numerous moles, over 70, that are abnormal, and I've had dozens removed already and I've had basal cell cancers already taken off and after his passing and all my years of exposing myself to the sun I was a lifeguard and I lived in Southern California I know that you know I hit the trifecta I've got it I've, I, I have the very high risk for developing melanoma. The MoleSafe process allows your dermatologist and the MoleSafe dermatologist to review each lesion or mole on your body that's been photographed and then they make a determination whether that mole is problematic and would need to be removed. If it's not problematic, there's no reason to have it removed. During the exam you can look at the pictures, you can see what the nurse is doing to photograph each picture. She explains it very thoroughly and makes you feel very, very comfortable with the, with the process. I know I'm a, a very high risk for melanoma, but I don't plan to die from it. So if I can catch it early, I know there's, a, there's hope in that. So that's really important to me.